Hello, welcome to our little thought today. I invite you to pause for a moment to be still. And let us know that God is with us. Whatever is going on in our lives, whatever challenges we're facing, God is with us. God knows about us. God loves us. Let us give thanks to God for his presence with us. This is a day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us be glad because God is with us. This week, in these little thoughts, we're thinking about what God's kingdom is like. We pray for God's kingdom to come when we pray the Lord's Prayer. But what is the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven? What is it? What is it like? Today's little reading comes from a bit further on in Matthew chapter 13. Once again, says Jesus, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, is like a net. A net that was let down into the lake and caught all kinds of fish. When the net was full, the fishermen pulled it up to the shore. They sat down and collected the good fish in baskets, but threw the bad away. This is how it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come and separate the wicked from the righteous, says Jesus. This little parable, this little story with layers of meaning, points us towards the end of time. This net, this far-reaching, all-encompassing net, draws in the fish, that is, you and me. And then, we see what it is that matters, what counts, what is essential in the kingdom of God. God looks on the heart. When God's angels pull in this net and the fish are sorted, what matters is not people's wealth or power or fame, but whether our heart is right with God. So I wonder, how is our heart? Is our heart right with God? Even in these challenging times, are we able to know and accept God's love for us and to love God? Are we able to trust ourselves to God's loving care? For God's desire is that all people will know God's love that all people will be drawn to him just as the net is drawn to the shore. That all people will know that there is a place where they belong, in God's kingdom, in God's family, both now and for all eternity. I invite you to join me in the family prayer of the church, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and for ever. Amen. And a prayer of blessing for you this day. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look kindly on you and give you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen.